friends, and welcome to All the Things TV, where we tackle full living and goal getting with the grace and gifts God gives. I'm Tiffany Jo Baker, and today I'm super excited to introduce to you one of my friends, Cherise Stoltfoots. So, Cherise, thank you so much for joining me today. So thankful that you're having me on. Thank you so much, Tiffany. This is awesome. Well, I have just been chopping at the bit to get you on here and to just talk because when we first met in real life and and had lunch, it was just like an instant, just um, like-mindedness and connection. And so there's so much in you and so much that I want to share. So, but let me first tell people a little bit about you. So Sharice has nearly 20 years of ministry leadership experience, which led to founding Nameless Collaborative in 2017. Her and her husband have co-founded several businesses and kingdom-focused projects, both here and internationally. She is a mom of five, and her calling, the calling of her heart is to encourage and connect women in leadership roles. Well, there's so much we could talk about, Cherise. First of all, five children. I mean, you look like you're 25. Oh, yeah. So. I'll take it. Thank yeah. You. We were just talking. Her oldest is is headed to college, and I'm like, oh, my goodness, and all that that, that entails and, and major life decisions and as moms and entrepreneurs, you know, the, the steps that are involved and all the things we wish we would have known, but y'all are doing a fabulous job. Thank you. Yes, Fabulous you job. definitely think about all of the things when you have one leaving the house. Wait, I have so much I still want to tell you and impart to you, but hopefully it's been enough. I guess it's not over, right? You still it's not over. Me. It's just a new season. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a new season. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to talk about, you know, you, your heart and your call is towards women in leadership and in and empowering them and connecting them and encouraging them. Um, the whole premise of Nameless Collaborative, which I've been blessed to be a part of this last year, um, is really about God's names being magnified, glorified, and spread through the greatness that he's made each of us to have. And sometimes that's hard, right? Sometimes it's hard to show up big and to show God off big um, without it becoming about us. But you have done that so beautifully and set up Nameless so well to do that. So could you kind of share a little bit about that process and, and your thoughts behind how to do that? Thank you. Um, yeah, I think just a little background of starting Nameless. Um, the vision that I feel like the Lord has uh, really put into my heart um, just came out of this place of, like you said, connecting and encouraging leaders, Christian women in leadership. Um, several years ago, I was uh, one of those leaders. We had started, like you said, we had started a business. We had started an, an international ministry, an international business at the time. And um, I was still a mom, you know, so I was doing the mom thing. And my husband was primarily leading, um, but I was, you know, right there leading with him. And um, that was just a missing part in my life were other women who were out there doing what God had put inside of their hearts to do. Uh, I just, I feel like I had friends around me, but there weren't a lot of other women leaders for me to just link arms with and just um, learn from and encourage and have them encourage me and um, just relationship, community with other women like that is, is something that was lacking in my own life. And um, I just saw it as something that was just um, a need for women. And so I just, I feel like the Lord just put it on my heart. Like, you're not the only one. I really, he started bringing women eventually after I started praying um, through the years, he started bringing women around me uh, that were leaders and kind of in that position in leadership. And I just felt like he said, you know what, um, I really want you to provide a place for women like this, women that are leading, women that are isolated and alone because they're leading and they're doing it on their own and they're pouring so much out uh, to other people, but they're not getting filled back up themselves. And they don't have other women around them that are in that same place, you know, that are leading like that, that, that they can just be in community with, share the joys and the lows with um and so um i did that and 
I think the heart behind Nameless and the, the reason why it's called Nameless, which I get this question a lot, it can either be a, a positive or a negative. Sometimes people are like, I really got drawn in because of the name. That's so interesting. I want to know more, which is great. Um, but then some women are like, well, God's given me a name and he's called me. So I'm not nameless, which I understand. Um, but that's really so opposite of what I think this is all about. Really the, the reason why I feel like it, um, I was supposed to call it nameless is kind of funny, but I just feel like the Lord was just putting it on my heart, laying it on my heart that, um, it's not about any one of us and, and what we're building and what he's entrusted us with. It's not about us. First of all, it's about him. It's about his glory. It's about making his name known and great and famous. Um, it's not about us, even though he's called us to do extraordinary things. And I believe women are called to lead and we're, we are called to do these amazing um, things that he has called us to do. Um, but it's not for us. First of all, <laughs> it's to bring him glory and it's for others. Uh, and so that was kind of the first part of it is, you know, it's not about us. It's about him. But then also it's not about us. It's about all of us together. You know, we're not, um, it's not about us and what we're building in our name. Like I said, uh, it's about coming together and building the kingdom together uh, and bringing our gifts and bringing our resources and all that he's entrusted and called us to together to build something so much bigger than we could build on our own. You know, we don't all have all of the pieces. We all need each other and we can build together. So hundred percent. We definitely do not have all of the things. And I think that's probably the biggest lesson that I learned as being a surrogate is that it takes a village, not just to raise children, but to even birth children sometimes and to birth dreams, you know, in the kingdom of God, some are hands, some are feet, some are wounds, some are um, brains, you know, we all have the gifts and you do such a beautiful job when we come together and provide a space that's so unique for leaders because sometimes when you're leading other people and encouraging other people, um, you have to be intentional on who you share with, what you share, um, you know, how you put yourself out there too. And so to come to have a group of women who understand that and get that and can encourage each other in the process um, mm -hmm. is so, it is just so valuable. Um, so you mentioned kind of the two types of people, you know, there's not, I don't want to generalize, but you know, some, you know, are on different sides of the fence, but I think in a selfie based culture, it can, um, we can sometimes get caught behind the feeling that promoting ourselves isn't godly mm -hmm. and have to wrestle with how to do that well and how to do that in a way, because we do have to put ourselves out there, mm -hmm. uh, but how do we do that in a way that does point to God and that does bring honor to him while being confident in who God made us to be? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, this is a great, great question because um, this is something I struggled with for, for, you know, since I started Nameless because the vision that I just shared with you, you know, and then promoting myself. I mean, at the beginning, we even talked about like, should we even be on social media, you know, and mm -hmm. we, we struggled really with this whole like being exclusive and non, -ex you know, um, and just, uh, just all of it. And I think really what boils, what it boils down to is a heart posture is just kind of continually keeping yourself in check and remembering all of these gifts are from him, you know, and yeah. just keeping that in the forefront of it's not for me, it's for mm -hmm. others, uh, you know, which can be hard. I mean, let's just be real. Sometimes, you know, we go through seasons where we have to keep reminding ourselves or, or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, it's not always perfect. Um, and I think, I think what I kind of came, came to um, eventually with Nameless, because it's even something that we're really um, evaluating with my team now is um, they're constantly telling me like, we need more of, of you out there, Sharice, as the founder in your face. And I'm like, oh. yes. I've been so like, oh, you know, it's, it's yeah. funny. You think of leaders and I don't know, this is me anyway. I think leaders like they're just naturally out there and I'm really introverted, but I mean, I can be out there in front of everybody, but I really don't want to like you know, interviews like this or like make me nervous or getting my picture out that, you know, all of it. 
So um, what I've really learned though, and my team has really helped me with this, is if you want to serve people, you have a heart to serve people, people need connection and they need to know, they wanna relate to you, they wanna know you, they wanna connect, they want a heart connection, they wanna connect to you. They can't do that with an organization, they need a person that they need to connect to. Um, and so I've really just kind of understood that and understood, you know, I'm not doing this to promote myself or when there's a picture of me, it's not about me. I'm just trying to connect with women to bring them in so that they feel a connection. They feel like, okay, here's someone I can relate to. She's another leader. Um, I need this kind of community because I'm alone. I'm isolated. I mean, I just, you know, we want to share our struggles and share, look, this is where I was at. This is why this is created because we need to connect. We need connection. We need to be there for each other and support each other. You can't do that if you're behind just an organization without a person that you can connect with. So that's really what's helped me. Yeah, that's so good to just be sh how you shared that you went through a process and the organization went through a process and we all have to do that um, and get to that place where it's right for us and in that season. Um, I just actually am in the process of writing a post right now and I pair, I added additions to go into all the world wide web and I added go into all the world wide web and preach the gospel to everyone online because essentially we're digital missionaries yeah. and when we're out there, like, just like you said, people will connect with our smile. People will connect with our, our goof ups, our mess ups. But when we're always pointing them to the Lord, um, it's a, it's a, it's a valuable, um, stage is a valuable platform that God's entrusted us with to continually be pointing people to him. And we just sometimes happen to be, um, the avenue that he uses for better or worse with filters or without filters. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know anybody that loves to post a selfie. You know, I'm like, uh, you know, we look at the lines and the, I do, I look at the lines on my forehead and my, my crow's feet and my laugh lines. Um, but what I, like you said, and I think the, the gospel at large, it's going back to the heart of people to back to the heart of God who is for people and how he made us so, so good. Well, one final question for you for this episode, why do we need to pursue the things that God has put on our heart to do? Oh, so that's, I mean, it's a big one. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, obedience, yeah. I mean, right? I, I, I know for me, when at the end of the day, when I stand before the Lord, mm -hmm. I want to hear those words. Good job, you know, well done, good and faithful servant. Um, I mean, obedience is, the Bible says, obedience is better than sacrifice. You know, Jesus says, if you love me, then you'll keep my commandments. She's talking about commandments, but I mean, what he's put in our hearts, he's put there for us to do. I mean, that's why we're here, right? That's, that's our, right. That's why that's we're right. here. Um, all of the things that he has called us to do, we're to do them during our time here on earth. And um, what we've been entrusted with, I want to be a good steward of all that he's been, that has been entrusted to me. So I think it really, I mean, the simple answer is just obedience. We have to carry that out. There's people who will not receive everything that they, you know, um, that God wants to give to them if we aren't obedient with what he's telling us to do. So we have to, to do that. And it goes back to how we started the conversation. Not one of us has all of the pieces at all. So that can keep you humble. <laughs> that can keep you at a place where you understand these gifts are from him and it's only a few of the gifts, you know, and everybody else has the other gifts and we have to come together. Like you were saying, one is an arm, one is the womb, one, we've, we've got to do it together. We've got to build his kingdom together. Um, but if we're not being obedient and we're just kind of sitting in the, the shadows and on the sidelines, then all the pieces aren't there and it's not going to, everything's not going to be fulfilled. That needs to be fulfilled. So. So good. Yeah. So true. Well, Sharice, thank you so much for joining me today. I so appreciate it. Thank you. It was my honor. Exciting. Well, friends, I know you p loved hearing Sharice as much as I did um, and hear a little bit more about Nameless Collaborative. And this is the verse that, that she, that 
the organization was founded around and kind of what we were talking about. And it's Psalms 115.1, not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory because of your love and faithfulness. So good. It makes me cry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so good. Okay. Well, friends, thank you so much for listening to another episode of All The Things TV. I'm Tiffany Jo Baker, helping you fuel and fulfill your faith journey through the ups and the downs. Now go do all the things that God has created you to do with the grace and the gifts he's given you.